Games has become a very big buzzword in the past few years. I think my, I've always seen my job as delivering a user experience, and, it, and it's, it's, it's really been, you know, designing a car is to do about an experience, and we sort of, we sort of plan that journey as well as we design that experience, and we sort of see it in different phases. And the experience is, is not dissimilar to what you're talking about, so it's about, it's about how do you create desirability through feasibility and usability as well. So it's actually, it's actually very, very much linked to what we're talking about today, but our experience is very much you know, you, you see a car from a distance and you understand what that car is going to deliver. Design's about communicating what the car is going to deliver, what the brand is going to deliver. So as you get closer to the car, you start to understand the car itself. You, you start to understand the details of the car. You, and then you start to recognize the brand characters of the car. And the next phase is really to do with stepping forward. You start to get to the, the quality of the, the, the build of the car, the craftsmanship. Uh, and that's really sort of the first three phases to, to, to get, get the exterior sort of into your brain. And it's really to get that desirability effect. And if you, haven't, if you haven't really succeeded at that point, you don't get the next stage, which is actually opening the car door and moving the interior. And that's, you get a split second to really make an impression in the interior. And then you sit in the interior, and that, this, that, that stage is what we call fit. So it's how do you fit myself, how do I fit my things, how do I connect with my things as well, which is obviously one of the things we want to talk about today. But it's also, and then it's, this is where we as a piece of product design change something else. You actually get to start a button and actually drive somewhere in this product as well. So, so the change happens also from it, the experience being something that's desirable and attractive to something that needs to be very functional and very, very usable as well. So, so it's actually very much linked with, with the, the same words that you're talking about in terms of using the desirability and the usability and the feasibility to get that product to be desirable and make that emotional connection with, with the customer as well. Because I think the designer's viewpoint is really making technology human and making it desirable as well. It's really, really very important. So, so I think that's sort of, and then of course, the next stage is integrating technology into the car as well, which is probably the biggest area where my job has changed over the past 10 years. Right, so 